India's preparations for the upcoming Aero India 2025 exhibition set to take place from the 10th to 14th of February are generating significant excitement. The event hosted at Yelahanka Air Force Station in Bengaluru will feature an impressive array of fighter jets from across the globe. However, the spotlight will undoubtedly be on Russia's Su-57, that is Sukhoi-57, a fifth-generation stealth fighter marking its debut appearance in India. This marks a pivotal moment for both aviation enthusiasts and defence analysts as the Su-57's arrival could represent a transformative shift in India's defence landscape and its growing strategic relationship with Russia. So let's find out more about the Su-57, which is Russia's first fifth-generation stealth fighter that Moscow calls the King of the Skies. Manufactured by Sukhoi, the Su-57 is Russia's first operational fifth-generation fighter jet, representing the cutting edge of Russian aerospace technology. As one of the world's most advanced stealth fighters, the Su-57 integrates an array of high-tech features designed to enhance its combat capabilities, including unparalleled stealth technology, supercruise ability and exceptional maneuverability. Its ability to evade a radar detection and engage enemies at long range places it in a category beyond the fourth generation fighters. The Su-57 has already made its mark on the international stage, including its presence at China's Aero Show last year. More recently, it was inducted into Russia's Air Force, showcasing its operational readiness as well. Designed to perform both air superiority and precision strike missions, the Su-57 is built to rival some of the world's most advanced fighter jets such as the American F-22 Raptor and the Chinese J-20. Let's talk about the design and features of the Su-57. One of the most striking features of the Su-57 is its sleek and aerodynamic design, optimized for stealth and high-speed performance. The aircraft measures 20.1 meters in length with a wingspan of 14.1 meters and stands at 4.6 meters tall. The aircraft's overall design incorporates advanced composite materials and radar-absorbing coatings that minimize its radar cross-section, making it harder to detect. The internal weapons bays, where munitions are housed out of sight, further contributes to the aircraft's stealth profile. The Su-57 is powered by two Satam AL-41F1 afterburning turbo engines, each capable of producing impressive thrust levels. These engines allow the aircraft to reach speeds of Mark II, which is approximately 2,135 km per hour at high altitude, and Mark 1.1, which is 1,350 km per hour at sea level. In addition, the aircraft's supercruise ability enables it to sustain supersonic speeds, which is Mark 1.3 or 1,400 km per hour, without the need for afterburners, making it highly efficient in long-range missions. The Su-57's agility is further enhanced by its thrust vectoring nozzles, which enable super maneuverability. This capability allows the aircraft to execute controlled high-angle maneuvers in close-quarters combat situations, giving it an edge over enemy fighters in dogfighting scenarios. Let's move on to the advanced weapon systems in the Su-57. The Su-57 is designed to carry out a wide range of missions from air superiority to precision strike operations. To support these tasks, the aircraft features a variety of weapons housed in internal weapons bays to preserve its stealth profile. For air-to-air -air combat, it can deploy long-range R-77M active radar-guided missiles, short-range R-74M2 infrared-guided missiles for dogfighting and R-37 missiles for extended range engagements. The Su-57's air-to-ground strike capabilities are equally impressive. The jet can carry a mix of KH-38M tactical missiles and KH-59 MK-2 stealth cruise missiles for precision strikes, along with anti-ship KH-35U or KH-31 missiles. 
Additionally, it is equipped with anti-radiation missiles, which is KH-58 USHK for targeting enemy radar installations and guided bombs, including the KAB-250 and KB-500. The aircraft is also capable of carrying specialized munitions, such as a 500 kilogram drill cluster bomb with active horning. For close combat scenarios, the Su-57 is armed with a 30mm GSH-31 internal cannon, enhancing its effectiveness in short-range engagements. It has a total payload capacity of up to 10,000 kgs, allowing it to carry a wide variety of munitions depending on the mission. The Su-57 is equipped with an advanced avionics suite designed to enhance its combat effectiveness. Central to the aircraft's avionics is the SH-121 multifunctional integrated radio electronic system, also known as Myers, which includes the NO-36 Bailka AESA radar. This radar system is capable of tracking and engaging multiple targets simultaneously, giving the Su-57 an edge in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. The jet also features the L-402 Himalayas electronic countermeasure system. This basically enhances survivability by detecting and jamming the threats. For targeting and surveillance, the Su-57 incorporates the 101 KS Atoll electro-optical targeting system, which includes an infrared search and track, that is the IRST system. This allows the aircraft to detect and track targets passively, avoiding radar emissions and further maintaining its stealth profile. Additionally, the Su-57 is equipped with secure high-speed communication systems, facilitating real-time data sharing in a networked combat scenarios. The cockpit of the Su-57 features a helmet-mounted display, also known as the HMD, allowing pilots to access critical flight and combat data directly within their line of sight, improving situational awareness and reducing reaction times during the combat. So why does the Su-57 have such strategic importance for India? The Su-57 holds immense strategic value for India, which has traditionally relied on Russian defence technology. India's need for advanced fighter jets has become even more pressing due to the growing military capabilities of neighbouring countries such as China, which has already introduced its J-20 and J-35 fifth-generation stealth fighters. With China's rapid military advancements, including the development of a sixth-generation stealth bomber, India is increasingly looking to modernize its own air force. The timing of Russian President Vladimir Putin's anticipated visit to India adds to the speculation surrounding a potential Su-57 deal. During his visit, Putin is expected to discuss strengthening defence ties between Russia and India. It is rumoured that as part of a broader defence cooperation agreement, Russia may offer India the Su-57, which could be a game-changing addition to India's military and air capabilities. In addition to the possibility of acquiring the Su-57, discussions are underway about the potential for co-manufacturing the aircraft in India. This would align with India's Make in India initiative aimed at boosting domestic defence manufacturing. By co-manufacturing the Su-57, India would not only have a greater control over the production of these advanced jets, but would also gain valuable airspace manufacturing technology. This collaboration could further bolster India's defence, self-reliance and foster closer ties with Russia, particularly in the realm of advanced military technology.